Hello, it's Rebecca and today is another book review day and this is my 31st book that I've been reading for the 2015 reading challenge. I will put a little link down below in the description box to explain what the challenge is about but basically it's to read 52 books over the year with each book coming from a different category. And the book that I've been reading this time comes from the category of a book written by an author who shares your initials. So my initials are RG and I have been reading Atmospheric Disturbances by Rivka Galchin. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. Sorry, this is a very long blurb. Pretty much the length of the book. Bear with me. The evening Dr. Leo Liebenstein's wife disappeared, she left behind one strange significant clue. A woman who looks, talks and behaves exactly like her or almost exactly like her. While everyone else may be fooled, Leo knows better than to trust the senses in matters of the heart, and the arrival of his missing wife's double sends him off on a quixotic journey to reclaim his lost love. With the help of his psychiatric patient Harvey, who believes himself to be a secret agent who can control the weather, Leo attempts to unravel the mystery of the spousal switch, the secret workings of the Royal Society of Meteorology in their cosmic conflict with the 49 Quantum Fathers, the enigmatic guidance of Dr Zivi Galchen, and how he, or maybe his wife, or perhaps even Harvey, is at the centre of it all. From the streets of New York to the southernmost reaches of Patagonia, Leo's erratic quest ultimately becomes a test of how far he is willing to take his struggle against the uncontested truth he knows to be false. So, first of all, it's very difficult to find an author with your initials or with my initials anyway I did have to do a lot of hunting and I found a lot of philosophers and people who wrote textbooks or factual books and I wasn't really in the mood to do that but I did find this one Rivka Galchen never heard of her before and she certainly has an interesting way of writing this book confused me so much to the point where I'm not even sure if I enjoyed it which is a shame it starts off really quite interesting and something that I would read kind of a crime thriller this guy walks home Leo expecting to find his wife there and he finds someone who looks like his wife who kind of acts like his wife but he knows it's not his wife and he then goes on a quest to try and find his wife and rather than what I think most rational people would do if you go home to your husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, even parents or children and you go home and you find out that they're not really who they are, you'd ask them or you'd probe them or question them or try to do something to ease your mind or find out the truth but rather than actually sitting down with Rima his wife or supposed wife he calls her a simulacron no that's not right it's a really strange word I've never, never come across it before he calls her a simulacrum I've never come across that word it's very strange but he I guess it's some it means someone who's similar but isn't exactly the same I don't know so he truly believes that Rima, this Rima, isn't his wife and he travels to a different country, country where she was born, I think it's Argentina, I can't remember and I don't fancy having to go through the book again to try and find it, to her parents or her mother to find out what has happened to the real Rima and it seems ever so pointless because like I say, you would talk to the person and say, look, I'm sure you're an absolutely lovely person, but you're not my wife. Where is my wife? And resolve your problems that way. But he's very distant towards Rima and just ups and leaves and travels to a completely different country to her mother's home to try to find out what's happened. And... Again, communication isn't strong between Leo and Rima's mother and he doesn't really explain what he's doing and she doesn't really explain 
what she's doing and it's all very peculiar and I'm really sorry this book just threw me completely after about page five I just couldn't keep a grip on what was going on Leo is a psychiatrist and he has a patient called Harvey who believes he controls the weather and for some reason Leo and either the real Rima or the simulacrum Rima contact Harvey as though they were a super famous meteorologist called Dr Zivi Galchen which again is really strange because one of the characters has the same surname as the author and I, d I don't I don't get it I don't understand why Anyway, they contact Harvey as Zivi Galchen, Dr. Zivi Galchen, pretending to be him and telling Harvey that he has to go on some secret missions to help the, the Royal Meteorological Society with their research. I don't know, I find that a bit strange. Aren't you kind of mocking your patient who is clearly unwell? And almost to having a laugh at their illness I don't know so anyway they've done this and Leo then has a little bit of a weird obsession with this Zivi Galchen almost believing that Zivi doesn't exist it's just Rima again I apologize this video is going to be absolutely unhinged because the book is unhinged so Leo is with Rima's mother and then Rima turns up but is it the real Rima or is it the simulacrum Rima and again nothing gets resolved and then Harvey turns up and there's strange emails from Zivi Galchen and nothing is resolved I don't even know what has happened to Rima? Where did she go? Was she kidnapped? Did she run away? Who is this new Rima? Or did Rima actually disappear? Does Leo just have some of his own mental problems that he can't resolve? I don't even know what to say about this. It threw me completely and the end is almost a hypothetical ending there's no actual definite ending it is just weird but I can't say a good weird I've read weird things you've probably seen my video for the house of leaves weird I read a book a few years ago called the raw shark text weird but brilliant I'm not sure if this is brilliant or if it is am I just too stupid to understand the brilliance if anyone has read this please let me know please help me understand because I do want to understand this I just felt like I was swimming through treacle not really sure what was going on or what I was reading or anything I just do not know with this one so I will advise you to read it and then please let me know what actually happened in this book because I do I do want to know I want to know where Rima is and I want to know what compelled Leo to do what he did and all of that kind of stuff but I'm sorry I can't say much more than that because it just melted my brain anyway if you would like to see any of my other book reviews then please subscribe to my channel I put new videos out every time I've read a book I occasionally give out writing advice and talk about my own writing and writerly world and bits and pieces I'm getting up to so if you are interested in reading and or writing then please subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon have a good day